Hello dear students. In the last class we have discussed about that Nicola and Jacopo. So every Sunday they are going to visit Palato. That is mainly to see their sister. So who is bedridden we can say that who is hospitalized. So this was understood when the narrator visited a nurse, the chief nurse. So she told something or she told about, <coughs> sorry, about her. So now we will discuss that what is the history of these two boys or we can say that the story of these two boys. So won't you go in, the nurse murmured, Lucia will be pleased to see you. So she says that, don't you go in. She murmurs and says that Lucia, so that is the name of the sister, Lucia will be very happy. Pleased means happy. So she will be very happy if you go in. I shook my head and turned away. So he's, he rejected. He shook his head. No one held a sign. So he shook his head and turned away. He returned away. I felt I could not bear to intrude upon this happy family party. So he was a uninvited person. So he don't want to disturb them. But at the foot of the staircase, I drew up and begged her to tell me all she knew about these boys. So he was curious about these two boys. So she says he, sorry, he says that he pleased that uh, lady nurse that is to tell the story about these two boys. So what was their background or what is their history? So she was eager to do so. So she is interested to do so. She wants to tell him the story of these two boys. So they were, she explained. So she started to explain about these two boys. So quite alone in the world. So they were quite alone in the world. Except for this sister Lucia. So these two boys only living for these two boys are living only for their sister Lucia. So only the sister what they are who sorry who they are having in their life. So all other were died. So their father a widower a well-known singer at Lascala. So Lascala means a opera house. So Lascala and Theladre opera house. So that is mainly in that time opera. So the place where we can see the dramas, singing, all those things. So the live programs and theli helabodu. So opera house. He was a famous singer at that time. That is Laskala. So had been killed in the early part of the war. So he was killed in the early part or in the first part of the world war. So he was killed at that time. So he died at the time of war. So shortly afterward a bomb had destroyed their home and thrown the three children into the streets. So suddenly after this war, so shortly within a short period of time, a bomb had destroyed all their house. So they are now no place to live and they came to street so without having a roof for them so they had always known a comfortable and cultured life lucia had herself been training as a singer and they had suffered horribly from near starvation and exposure to the 
cold veronese winter so that is so earlier they were living comfortable life and they were having cultured life they were happy in their life even though their father is a widower so but still they were happy with their family they had the roof everything but now they are suddenly in the streets so lucia that is only sister what they had so lucia had herself been training as a singer so she was not a fully trained singer she was taking training as a singer and they had suffered horribly so they suffered a lot so because they not even had a roof in their head so near because of the starvation and exposure to the cold veronese winter so because of the veronese winter so alli ella neevu foreign country galalli nodidre the the snowfall is more so we can't see in india or in our part but in uh, american countries or in such veronese veronese in verona so in that places we can see the snowfall so that is the cold weather so minus degrees they are having so they suffered a lot without having a roof for them without having any place to live so for months they had barely kept themselves alive in a sort of shelter they built with their own hands amidst the rubble so what do you mean by rubble so rubble means palay ulike ant heli helabodu so hale avra maneyalli ulidanta churu par jagagal enide so athwa alpa salpa ulidanta kallu gal enide adanna upayogisi so they made a shelter that is to live so that is for the months together so it is a surprise they, that they are living so because the weather is like that so by their hands amidst the rubble rubble means avashesha athwa pale ulike ant heli helabodu then the german elite guard established important for one more question german elite guard so they have established headquarters in verona and for three dreadful years ruled the city with the ruthless severity so that is having no pity so they ruled it so maybe now uh, napoleon or uh, we can say such rulers right hitler so ee reetiya ruler galanna example age tagolbodu so then the german elite guard so they have it established their headquarters that means in the war the germans have won in the world war so they have established their headquarters in verona and for three dreadful years three long years they have ruled the city so with without any pity towards the people the boys grow to hate those harsh and unwanted masters and when the resistant movement began secretly secretly to form so they were among the first to join so ee ella vishayagalindagi avrige yavude help illa so ashtu teevrataya ruler agidda karana so these two boys so they were they have joined the resistant movement so that is in secret they have joined so that is these two boys were the first to join that movement so a movement anna join agike so maybe namma india dalli iddanta sorry movements enide so adhe reetiyalli they had the secret movements so these two boys were joined to that movement secretly it was not a matter of playing war so it is not the matter as playing in uh, the mobile games or playing uh, games so it is a serious matter so they have given in inverted comma so it is not that it is a play thing but it is a serious matter even though they were kids even though they were children so they joined 
the secret movement because they are having that much anger towards the rulers so they are extreme youth and insignificant size added to an intimate knowledge of the neighboring hills made them immensely valuable so because of their size and because they are small so it was very helpful for them to get knowledge and get valuable things so because they can move from one place to another so because they are small so they were used to carry messages to the forces of liberation and more dangerous still to ferret out information on the movements of the german troops so they were even though they so it was more dangerous but that was doesn't matter for them so they ferret means that is uh, they are having uh, the we can say that they are having a interest to get the information on the movements of the german troops so they were catching the information of the soldiers or of the troops the good nurse broke off so the good nurse told everything so her eyes moist uh, she got emotional so she told in a emotional way then with even deeper feeling she went on so in a deeper meaning more in a more emotional feelings so she went on telling about these two boys i need not tell you how fine they were these infants so i need not tell you or it is not necessary to tell you so that is how uh, have or how active these two boys are so how they went in the darkness through the mountain passes with the letters in their shoes which might cause them to be shot and when it was all over and we had peace at last so she says that uh, you know it is not necessary to explain that is how they fought or how they were helping for the freedom movement for that movement so even in the dark they were moving or they were passing messages letters that is in the mountains by through the mountains and so that is having a letter or information in their shoes so which might be cause death to them shot so maybe they were killed so because they were carrying messages against the government so that's why but it was very dangerous but still they did so when it, it was all over so when all the things have been over and we had peace at last finally we had peace so they came back to their so after completing all the things they came back to their their sister beloved sister and they found her suffering from tuberculosis uh, of the spine contracted during the miseries of the war so at last when all the things are over or when they got freedom when they came back to their place they found that their sister that is lucia suffering from tuberculosis of the spine so spinal cord contracted during the miseries of the war so she got this thing during the miseries means a physical and mental distress of the war so a mental distress athwa physical distress enide so adarindagi she got tuberculosis of the spine so spinal cord tuberculosis so she paused took a quick breath so she stopped telling the story then she took her breath and she continued so did they give up i do not 
have to answer that question they brought her here persuaded us to take her into the hospital say uh, after the all these things say the, they not even stop so they came here they brought their sister here and persuaded so that means induced so that is manavolisu ant heli heluvantadu so they induced us to take her into the hospital in the 12 months she had been our patient she has made good progress so she is progressing so there is every hope that one day she will walk and sing again so there is a hope that one day she will walk and she will sing again so of course everything is so difficult now so food so scarce so food is insufficient and dear we could not keep going unless we charged a fee but every week lucia's brothers have made their payment so unless they are putting a fee or unless they give the fees we can't take her or we can't leave her here so but every week they are paying their amount so they complete their payment of the hospital so she added simply i don't know what they do i do not ask work is a scarce in verona but whatever it is i know they do it well so now the work is scarce so the work is less or insufficient so but still i don't know what work they are doing so but they are arranging money for their sister so the payment of the hospital so yes i agreed so they couldn't do it better so idikinta better agi maadlik sadhyane illa they are giving their best ant helunanna he says i waited outside until the boys rejoined me then drew them back to the city they sat beside me not speaking in a mood of quiet contentment content means state of happening happiness so they were happy so because they met their sister and they were talked with the, their sister so that's why they were happy they are in the mood of happiness so santrupti ant helbodu so they were so happy so that's why he not even spoke with that two boys he just went on he draw these two boys to the city for my part i did not say a word so from my side i did not say a single word i knew they would prefer to feel that they had safely kept their secret so i know that these two boys don't want to reveal their identity and reveal their story so i want to feel them that they kept their story secret so yet this silent epic of youthful devotion had touched me deeply so they are youthful devotion so devotion towards their work and the devotion towards their life so they want to uh, have a secret or silent that is in their life so it touched me deeply so about their life so war with its attendant horrors had not broken their spirit so that is the war which which destroyed them completely so we can say that the war which destroyed them completely so but they have never broken their spirit so they had their spirit of doing work and living their life and if an untimely maturity had been forced upon them at least they had accepted it with dignity and courage so they are walking as a elders now so because that is beyond their age so they are small right that is 12 and 11 year old so sorry 13 and 11 year old so beyond their age so they are doing they accepted the uh seriousness of their life 
so with dignity and courage so that is very important to have a dignity in our life and having a courage so the uh, all of us are having the childish nature so but beyond that we are having a serious life which we have to think like these two boys so because they know they have to achieve something in their life they have to take care of their sister and they want to live a happy life so that's why they were serious about their life those they are selfless action so brought a new nobility to human life so nob nobility means being noble in character so that is their selfless action so they are action which brought a new character or new life to this human life so that is giving a new idea to the human life so give promise of a greater hope for human society so that is by this story it gives us a different idea or different hope so our great hope for the human society so that is even though we are kid we can achieve something in our life the life gives us so many opportunities so which we have to accept and which we have to inbuilt within ourselves so this story which is mainly talking about the two boys who achieved a lot in their life so they are selfless action so they are not living for them so they are living for their sister and in one of the part they are living for the country so that is more important according to the narrator that life gives us many opportunities the grabbing the opportunity is more important than i can't do anything ant heludakintano so namma jeevanakke importance anna koduvantadu that is having a seriousness is more important ant heludana ee lesson heltade the theme which says that even though they were two kids they were the gentleman in verona city so they were the two gentlemen so the gentleman the title gentleman or the gentleman is not because of their existence sorry not because of their dressing style it is because of their existence ant heludana so it is because of their action ant heludana ee chapter namige heltide hope all of you have understood the question and answer we will discuss in the class so in the thank you so much for watching and hope you have understood what i have explained the important is the two gentlemen which is because of their existence and which is mainly because of their work thank you so much students we will continue the question and answer if time permits in the next classes or even in the later thank you so much